Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, this footage looks horrible. I know, it's super laggy and it's trash. It's shot off a garbage camera for a reason. First off, hi, it's been a while. I haven't uploaded a video like this in a long time. Um, this is garbage quality because it's shot off this really trash 24 megapixel 4K camera that I don't even think is any of that. As you can see, the footage is garbage. It's super laggy. The delay is awful. Anyway, I recently bought a new camera. I didn't buy it. It was a birthday gift from my dad to me. But it was the cheapest cinema camera ever. And I'll show you why in a minute. So first off, I want to show you something. My first camera that i had been using was this. This is a Canon SX50HS. You know, it's, it, it, it got the job done. It wasn't the best quality around. I don't care what the date is. You know, it, it got the job done. Um, it had a very nice zoom on it, which was like really great. But, um, I mean, at the same time, it's like, it was still not a very good quality camera. I mean, even right now, it, it doesn't look that great. And this was like the biggest camera I had. It was, to me, this thing was huge. I mean, it's a DSLR. It's a, it's a big camera. Well, boy, was I wrong. Because to my next camera, this one doesn't compare at all. Um, for the next camera, I mean, it's like insane. And honestly, now that I've used that this newer camera, this one, I'm starting to learn more of the features. Because when I use this, I never learned any of the features on it. So I don't really know much about these cameras until I started playing with this new one. But the new one's kind of like a, D, like a DSLR, but it's not. Anyway, so I used this camera to film my old show, Building with Brian. For some reason, I don't even remember why, I think I just wanted a new camera to play with. Um, so I bought a camcorder, which is what I'm recording off of. And as you can see, it's not that great. I shot basically the rest of the videos on this camera right here. And then I ended up going back to this one again because this one was just a lot higher quality. Even though this camera is like a 20 year old camera from what I remember hearing. Um, I feel like my parents got this at their uh, on their wedding or something. It was like a wedding gift, something like that. But, and they've been married 20 years. So this is probably a 20 year old camera. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just what I remember hearing. <clears throat> it got the job done. It did everything good. It just wasn't the best quality. I always wanted more. So then after I stopped using this one, I started using that one. And at first I was like, okay, for the $250 it was, it was the best I got out of it. I had little knowledge to editing. I think I was still using um, Power Director 15, I want to say. Later I ended up switching to DaVinci Resolve. But after I was using this one, the show kind of ended that we were doing and it really sucked because we just ran out of ideas and we didn't know what to do anymore. And then Brian got a job and, you know, later I ended up getting a job and we just got busy. Um, <clears throat> so eventually I had an idea to make like a horror film for myself just to, you know, get back into editing. So I ended up asking his dad, who used to do TV, if I could borrow one of his cameras. Well, actually, originally I wanted a camera that I already owned. And actually, you know what? That camera I still have. I think it's still buried in my closet somewhere here, unfortunately. But ah, here it is. It is buried in the closet, but this was another camera that I had used. I used it because it cost almost nothing. Um, I think the camera itself I bought I bought it at a a um a uh, uh, what do you call it um rummage sale. I bought it at a rummage sale. Um, Brian and I bought this together, and we were going to use this because it was a huge camera, and we were like, dude, this is insane. You know, maybe we can we can you know adjust the quality on it or something like that to make it into a really good camera. Well, we were totally wrong. This is what we got. A Zenith, like, 
handy cam, I guess you'd call it. I don't actually know what the real name of this thing would be, but it's just, it's a Zenith camera. Maybe this is a camcorder too. Um, and it worked. Uh, this camera we used a lot. It was absolute garbage quality. And what I ended up doing is because I, for, at first I didn't have a tape for this thing. Later, my mechanic friend bought me a tape and it's weird. Um, I forget what these things are called. They're VHS C tapes. So they're very, very weird because they're like, they look like mini VHS tapes. They're kind of dumb. And like I said, the quality is horrible on this thing. Actually, I should probably open this tape up and see what's in it because I don't know what footage is in this tape, what I last recorded on it or anything like that. So um, he gave me this tape. I started recording on it. And I realized the quality was not that good and I couldn't do much with this camera. But I thought to myself, I'm like, it's an old VHS tape camera. It's standard definition, probably not even 720 pixels, probably less than that. I was like, I had watched, you know, like Poppy Playtime and they made all those cool VHS videos. I'm like, maybe I can make a horror VHS video with this camera. So I, this was in Brian's possession at the time. It's, it's a shared camera, but it was in his possession. I was like, hey. I mean, this was, oh man, it had to be a few months ago. I was like, hey, Brian, I am going back to record something. Do you still have the Zenith camera? He's like, no, I don't. I think it got thrown out during all the cleaning. I was like, ah, darn. Okay. Um, his dad gave me a little handy cam, one of those like very small ones. It, it took mini DV tapes. Um, I think it took mini DV tapes. I think it did. Yeah. Um, it was an old camera. And I plugged it in, I messed with it. I might even saw the footage somewhere with it. The audio was awful. I mean, just garbage. The video was pretty much on spot where I wanted it to be. It's just the audio was trash. Well, I brought it back to him and said, hey man, it's not really what I want. I appreciate you, you know, giving it to me. He was like, if I want it, I can just keep it. I was like, ah, that's fine. I don't really need it. Well then I was like, how about your old TV camera? He used to do TV and I have pretty much all his other equipment. I had his, his mixing board, a bunch of old audio equipment and some video equipment from him, except that camera. I was like, what about your camera? That shoots standard definition. Can I look at that? Man, that was a good idea because that was pretty much exactly what I needed. Say hello to the 2001 Canon XL1S. This was easily the biggest camera I have ever touched. This thing was awesome. 720 pixels, standard definition, mini DV tapes. And the mini DVs are this big. They're very small, but they're not awful quality. So I'm like, you know what? I can live with this. I mean, to be honest, this camera right here really isn't much different. from the quality of this, especially when you get it 
color corrected and you get, you get good with this camera, good settings and all that, it works pretty well. Um, this is all the original stuff. Uh, he had a fishing show, so he used this for a fishing show and a hunting show as well. Um, these batteries, original batteries from 2001. They're 20 some years old. These batteries still hold a charge. I can still use these batteries for like two hours. And this thing on the back here uses both batteries. So you get like four hours on this camera with tapes that are only an hour long for footage. So I was like, dude, this is awesome. These are the original batteries and there's like six or seven of them. The only problem with this thing is it's big. It's gigantic. Also with standard definition. That was a huge problem with this. But after I tried shooting a video with this, I was like, you know what? You know, you gotta shoot the video, you gotta transfer it over, blah, 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 you know. I'm like, it's not that bad. Well, I tried making my video and I was like, you know what? It's just not working out. It's just, what I was filming was not very good. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the camera back. Before I did, I wanna play with this some more. Cause I mean, look at this, it's a TV camera. How can I not enjoy this? So I was playing with it and then my friend Brighton, who has an OBS4, not really identical to mine, same body style, but that's about it. He came to my house and he's like, bro, nice camera. He's like, did you get a, you know, a video of me pulling in? I'm like, I didn't, but I can. Got a video of him pulling in. He was like, show me how this thing works. So I showed him how it works. We go into edit and he goes, hey, call it the OBS idiots. I was like, yeah, sure. I call it that. I put some music over it, whatever. It's like, oh man, that's so cool. Well, then I called Scott. I'm just like, hey, man, I think I'm ready to give this back. So then I, I, right before I did, I was looking over some videos of mine. And I'm like, hmm, the OBS idiots. This could work. I'm like, this thing's staring definition. It looks 2001 quality. I'm like maybe, just maybe, I can get some videos of our trucks doing cool things and make it look like an old Ford commercial hopefully from the 90s, but this is better quality than the 90s footage. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep this for a little bit. It's not mine, but I'm like, I'm going to keep this thing for a little bit. Make some good videos, then I'll give it back. Then he tells me, he's like, yeah, I need that back eventually because I got a bunch of family tapes that need to be converted over. I was like, dude, I have the camera. Just let me do it for you. He goes, oh, there are a lot of tapes. I'm like, ah, it's fine. I mean, I'm what, an hour each for, what, you mean like 10 or something? He pulled out 30 tapes and handed them to me. I'm like, okay, I got myself into that situation. 30 hours worth of footage, that's that's on me. Whatever, you let me use the camera for free. You're not making me pay for it. So, I mean, if I have to transfer 30 hours worth of footage, so be it. Um, I think I've only transferred about six hours so far. Um, I've been using this camera a lot, and I love this thing. My dad saw me using it, and he's like, why are you using this old equipment? I'm like, because I don't have the thousands of dollars it costs to buy new equipment. And he was like, well, your birthday is coming up. You're going to be 18. Let's, let's look for a nice camera for you. I was like, you know what, Dad? That, that sounds pretty nice, actually. Because I'm like, it'd be nice to have like a 1080p at least, and something that's not 720p. Some that's at least not standard quality or standard definition. Hopefully some high def maybe. Well, after that, um, I was still using this camera for a long time. And one day dad sends me a, um, uh, a Facebook thing. And he sent me a Facebook ad for a camera. It was, I'll, pop, I'll show it up on the screen. It was this. Blackmagic 6K complete rig like new. I was like, hmm, I'm like 6K, my editor, DaVinci Resolve, can't support 6K because I'm on the free version. If I buy the $300 studio version, it can. And I'm like, that's interesting. So I was looking through it some more and I'm like, dang, that's a good setup. Like that looks absolutely incredible. 
It comes with a tripod, the camera, the boxes, uh, a rig, follow focus monitor, microphone. I looked it all up and from from what it was, like I I looked up the camera, I looked up the lens, I looked up the monitor, the cage, the mic. It was gonna cost almost a thousand dollars more. I mean three, four thousand dollars. I'm like, damn, like this is a good deal. I'm like, that this is it. This is the camera. This is what I want. He tells me, he's like, I wanted to surprise you, but I know nothing about cameras. And for all I know, he could have got me another one of these, which is not good. So he was like, you tell me if it's good and I will get it for you. Damn, was it good. We went to go see the guy and it was exactly what he said it was. The story about it was he bought it back in April of this year, went to New York, made a few videos with it, probably used the camera 10 times and then just left it and didn't use it again. I honestly didn't really believe it because I'm like, the camera's from 2019. I don't know if they still make them, but I'm like, I they were created in 2019. I'm like, who knows? Well, he comes out to give us the stuff, bags of original boxes and everything. I'm like, whoa, this dude kept everything. Dude, I went home, I was looking through the bags, and I found the invoice to the camera. So the invoice for the camera was $1,800. It was $1,821.55. $0.25, sorry, $0.25. Cents. I found this invoice, and I was looking at it, and the date, April 25th, 2023. This camera is literally brand new. The guy paid for the camera alone $1,800. Then he had to buy $400 mic, a you know, 70, 50 to $70 SSD, a huge monitor, it probably cost another few hundred bucks, a lens, a rig, a follow focus. I mean, he had to buy a lot of stuff and it probably came out to a decent price, $2,800 was really cheap and we went and looked at it and dad's like is this what is this it i'm like this is it Th this is it the guy told me he was an honest guy there's nothing wrong with the camera and he wasn't lying it was the real deal so that day i walked out with a black magic pocket cinema camera 6k fully loaded the shoulder mount rig is mine i bought this a while ago but the camera alone, I got. Let me take it off the, off the mount for you. So this camera is amazing. I, I can't explain to you how happy I was when we got this thing. Here it is. So this camera comes equipped with a monitor, a cage, a handle, an SSD, one terabyte, a boom mic, a lens, it's a 18 to 35 millimeter zoom lens, um, a follow focus, so here's the knob you can, sorry, here's a knob you can turn to adjust the focus on it. Um, comes with a handle for the microphone, um, comes with a D-tap battery that lasts actually a really long time. So far I have not had it die on me. Um, and everything came in the box too. Like I literally still have the original box for the camera, the box for the mic, the box for the uh, monitor and everything. And the monitor came with two batteries and a charger. All the cables from the camera came with it. It was literally buying a brand new camera fully loaded for cheaper than it was actually supposed to be. It was amazing. I, I, it was the deal of a lifetime. You, you will never find a 6K camera at, at this day and age for that cheap. So... That made me so happy. And I, I came home. I didn't know how to use this thing because it was it was brand new to me. I was so used to this older technology that I had no idea how to use that. Well, I got home. I took some videos on it. I, I put it to my computer and I just had the biggest smile on my face because of how amazing the footage was. And it was the most crystal clear thing I've, I've ever seen. I will put some footage of it right now and compared to what you're looking at right now is a world, it's a night and day difference. 
there is nothing better than this camera right now that I have. And I just made a bunch of videos with it and I, I haven't been any happier making videos now. Um, when I film the OBS Idiots, it's still going to be on the Canon XL1S just because I'm not going to go from 720 pixels to 6K just like that. It's going to look bad. So I'm going to record all those old trucks on this old camera just so everything's still the same. But maybe in the future I might switch it over so I can give this camera back and have my own. Now, all the footage that you are like looking at is all raw. There is no color correction whatsoever done to it. I could go in detail for probably 20 minutes about just how much I love this camera and what it can do. But rather than me telling you about it, let me just show you some footage of what this camera can do. Alright, so you saw what the camera can do. It's fantastic. I love it so much. And again, you're going from watching the 6K quality to this. And it's garbage, I know. I'm done with this camera. I'm probably not done with the DSLR. Wherever the, oh, here we go. I'm not going to be done with this yet. Because this one still has potential. I don't have videos from that. Well, that's not true. I do have videos from this. The very first Building with Brian episode was filmed on this camera. Hi everybody, my name is Brian Kimmelspire and I am going to work on a desk that used to be my cameraman's but an accident occurred, I'm not going to say what, but it's broke so I'm going to fix it. So let's get started. Woo, it cracked it. Put a hole through it. One more time. Oh. My turn. So this one I could still use because it's not horrible quality. I don't even know. Like th this is a nice camera still, you know, optical zoom, a uh, 50 times optical zoom, full HD image stabilizer, ultrasonic. I mean, this is a nice camera. It's just, it's, it's not 6K. When I look at what the black magic can video, it, it changed everything for how I see footage. I can't look at anything else anymore and think yeah that looks good i just can't like this camera right now besides the fact the audio is lag or the video is lagging it looks awful to me looking at this it looks terrible now maybe that might just be because it's it's zoomed in to fill the whole screen i don't know but going from such cheap equipment and such trash video and everything Going from that to literal cinema quality just changed everything. I cannot tell you just how happy I get. Every time I see the footage in this thing, I can't help but smile. I send videos and pictures to my friends all the time saying, check out how this turned out. Look at the quality of this. I sent it to my dad because he bought the camera for me. Um, my dad always knew that I had a special um, talent for videography. And when I got this camera, I made, the first video I made was an altar video for an, or it was a video for the church for altar servers. It was kind of an accident to make it because I didn't plan on making that. It just kind of happened. But the quality was so good that 
I had to, I, I, I realized that God has been calling me to make videos for the church and to take the talents that he gave me and use it to help out him. So this camera is just a huge blessing to have. It's amazing. I cannot just begin to tell you how great this camera is. So there you go. The cheapest black magic 6k cinema camera bought ever if there if someone somehow got one that's fully loaded that was cheaper than twenty eight hundred dollars let me know in the comments but so far i think this one wins for the cheapest camera ever bought from black magic cinema loaded up or maybe if you imagine you find like an ari alexa or a nice canon or panasonic or something even better Something that is good for you. Let me know in the comments. Tell me the story on it. I'd love to know. Thank you guys for watching the video. You will be seeing a lot more videos from this camera coming very soon. I have a full-time job now. I'm making a lot of money. I need to get some more money together. Start getting back together with Brighton to film the OBS idiots and do some more work. So thank you all again, and I will see you in the next video.